To me personally, he was a self-made guy, using his talent with a lot of hard work in order for him to overcome all the hard situation, discrimination, doubts that he faced since he was a kid, in order for him to provide so much better life for his loved one and his mom, especially because she was the one who believed on him to the limit. With this, I can really relate to him personally. Because also since I was a child, I was having very tough life and I was only having my talent that could really make me overcome all that hard situation in order for me to provide so much better life for myself and my loved one. There where I found myself, I was very attached to Diego Maradona. The way I managed to meet Maradona, it was a very good moment to remember. Basically, he just saw one of my clients' haircut and he went this way. I want the guy who cut this person's hair. Bring me the barber who did this haircut as soon as you can. That's how I knew it from his PR. The actual story is, uh, I was just having a lunch with one of my guys and then uh, one of my friends called me and he goes like, uh, Bro, can I give your contact details to Maradona PR? I said, dude, uh, are you joking? <laughs> Absolutely you can. I'm the luckiest guy exists. So he was like, but you know, because he's asking for your service, he wants to have a haircut and he really likes my haircut. Five minutes later, the PR, she called me and she was like, hey, Maradona wants to have a haircut and uh, we need it too soon. He have very busy schedule and let's coordinate. So yeah, I went to the Palm Jumeirah and then I have a meeting with, uh, with his PR. So we started to organize the way that I'm going to see him and I have, you know, my question to know about his personality, what he prefer, what he like, what he doesn't. But there was some stress over there because I knew about his personality. He likes the details, he's perfectionist and also he's very neat when it comes to his hygiene. He is very particular and literally the PR she was telling me so many barbers was kicked outside because of the hygiene problem. And also he was not liking the way they were treating themselves and, and the career. Like when they come, the presentation wasn't as he's expecting. So that makes him always feel he cannot communicate. And what brings more stress to him, that's why she was uh, mentioning for me, she was very tight on me that he doesn't speak English. So I need to uh, find out the best haircut for him without speaking. So I have to just think and create by myself what suits him best without me knowing what he like, what he doesn't. So I have to figure it out, let me put it this way. And then one of her, one of her conditions was like, no pictures, uh, nothing to ask, whatever. So I was like, easy <laughs> you know I, I I know what to do best and I'm sure that all what you're saying right now is going to be changed later just give me the factors and I will do the rest so we went there uh, right after a few hours the moment that I opened the door and I saw him there he was like with a cigar in his hand and then the cup of whiskey there and music all over, too much people around as well, so many people around. And I was like, that's a Diego Maradona. Uh, and I started to see like how he looked like, how he act, because I need to customize for him a haircut that can really uh, like give him that uh, identity, you know, a haircut, your haircut can really identify you. So once I saw his vibe and how he act around, add to it the information that I collect the way he, he likes my, uh, my job on someone else. So especially for that guy, because I was the one who cuts his hair for too long. So I managed to customize that haircut for him with all its factors. So this is all my job. That brings the, 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 the understanding for me a lot more easier. So combine all this information together, 
I, I built inside of my mind exactly what is the best haircut that could be done for Maradona. I'm always confident at what I do and uh, I don't want to, I don't want it to have someone like Maradona disappointed. So I idolize him so much and I love him and I love the vibe, especially when I entered to his house. So I was trying to be so much part of Maradona's journey. I wanted to be uh, so much part of uh, the people, the most lucky people who get to know Maradona closely, uh, who managed to touch him. Uh, dude, I'm the one who gave him a haircut, you know? So uh, I'm, the, I'm the guy who managed to give Maradona the haircut that he likes. And he found after 58 years, he was searching for it and everyone else failed to give it to him. That's, by the way, that's what he told his translator to tell me when I finished my job and I, I hand over for him the mirror. There is a small mirror that we give for the person to check his haircut. So once I give it to him and he was looking for his hair, he looked at the translator and he told him, uh, to tell me that this is the haircut he was really looking to have asking using every language every uh, like every single keyword to reach out the barber's mind in order for him to to have this haircut specifically and everybody felt so for me to achieve that uh, it's very emotional very emotional and also uh, very good successful moment uh, when it comes to my career also how much it adds value to my business uh, the best way to describe it and the best way to uh, to talk about it is when i look at the jersey that he gave me because uh, the PRC was putting conditions on me that i should not have anything unless if i pay for it uh, and actually i should not have at all whether i pay or not so I was not expected at all. Uh, that's how I knew the translator was really honest with me because the way that he was arguing, Maradona, Diego Maradona was really arguing with, uh, with his PR because she was insisting not to give me. I, I cannot understand what they were talking, but I saw the action because he was asking her for something and she was not, she was not responding. She was just responding to him in her own language and uh, I was not understanding what's this for so I was actually just packing my things and looking at them like what's up <laughs> what's wrong then I saw him he came direct to me and he took my hand he grabbed my hand from here and then he was like come come and then he he took me to the locker like you cannot tell that he's angry or he's happy so I was just trying to figure out like really what's going on because there is no one to explain and then uh, we went to the locker he opened the door and he was like choose you know like what do you want so i uh, look he was like t-shirt football uh, i said no give me that jersey so he gave it to me and then uh, we went back to the table and then he asked me my phone so he said picture i said yeah so he took my phone and he gave it to the pr so uh, i still have some pictures for that actually and uh, he asked her to take for us pictures and she was very mad because uh, she don't want me to take it and she couldn't control the situation because he was very happy so when, when he was just signing the jersey for me taking pictures i have some catch that still i'm looking at him i cannot believe that moment specifically means the world to me and uh, everything starts from there because that's how i managed to see him more often because I gained his trust and also I, uh, I managed to meet his expectation uh, more than I expect either, not just him. I started to know him much better, so he's become really, really a big part of me because uh, he was a very happy person and that's the vibe that I like. Very happy, very inspirational. It's very good, very good story to tell, very good, uh, very good moment to remember and I trust uh, you know, I, I, I will never bury this, ever. This is, will be always a life deep inside of me and uh, whoever will ask me about it, I will just say it happily. The last time I served Diego Maradona, it was his last day in Dubai. So he was having very busy schedule and he was having press conference to say goodbye to Dubai and say his gratitude for all the journey here as well as for the support. I spent with him, I think, like all day, almost, almost all day. 
uh, that was very very good time in my life to remember uh, as well as at the same time it was sad because it was the last time I saw him uh, and I knew that he was leaving uh, but yeah there was one funny story happened in there uh, by the end of the day it was like late evening I was packing my things I have to leave uh, because I was giving him all day uh, touch up here and there so I have to follow him from place to another so I was packing my things my things was all over the place and then uh, there was no one left who speak English only one person I think she was his friend or somebody and then uh, you know there was no protocol to pay the money and the PR left everybody left so he had to pay me uh, so he put his hand on his uh, coat he was wearing long coat he was trying to take some money out of it and then put it on the table and I was like Whew, that's too much he was thinking of me and saying I want more so he called the lady upstairs and he was like bring me some more money uh, that's how I understood because he doesn't speak English so uh, the lady she come down with a lot of money a lot of cash in her hand and she put it on top of the table and she was like is this enough she was trying to ask me and I look at them, I said, no, not like this. So I started to have body language in order for me to sort it. So I took one, two, I took what is mine. I said, this is mine, this one is yours. I just want this. And he was like, oh, amore, amore. And he was giving me a hug and he was telling me, good, good. I don't know what, but that's how, that's how it ends. And I was, I was very, uh, very pleased uh, to have his hug as well. So one more time I ask him if I can hug him before he leaves. So I give him really tight hug. Every time I talk about these things, I just have a goosebump. Uh, I, I don't really follow football like usually, but uh, absolutely we heard about Maradona a lot. So to me personally, he started to mean to me differently, to be honest, because uh, I know I don't follow football, but I always admire and appreciate the side of him that he was always artist at his own field. Like if you see the way the football play on his feet, it's artistic touch. And to me personally, he was a self-made guy using his talent with a lot of hard work in order for him to overcome all the hard situation, discrimination, doubts that he faced since he was a kid in order for him to provide so much better life for his loved one and his mom especially because she was the one who believed on him to the limit. With this, I can really relate to him personally because also since I was a child, I was having very tough life and I was only having my talent that could really make me overcome all that hard situation in order for me to provide so much better life for myself and my loved one. There where I found myself, I was very attached to Diego Maradona. He was the winner against every situation, against every miracle. Also, he was the guy who bring a lot of uh, support and, uh, and love to one neglected place, I don't know, somewhere in Italy. So it wasn't, it wasn't there. He put that place on the map. So you cannot deny all these factors. In the top of that, uh, seeing a lot of the negative side of him on the news, which is usually that's how you see it, being there, dealing with him, uh, like the way I was treated personally, I can only speak about my personal experience. Like the way I was treated from him, it means the world to me. The way he appreciated my work, the way he was very happy vibe, like at all the time. Uh, the way he appreciated my job by giving me the jersey, uh, uh, broken all the rules for his agency. His agency, as I said, she was very mad because she was like, you know, you have to pay for this. And for him, it's like, just stay back. So just remembering all these moments with a lot more that it's hard to put it on word. It feels like, uh, it feels like it's happening now. I cannot forget it, to be honest. Uh, it means the world to me because I knew that uh, I was on a moment I think like 7 billion people wish to have so uh, I cannot put it in a better description than this a very good moment to remember back in the day 2018 when the World Cup happened on uh, Russia uh, I saw Maradona all over the news 
uh, that was the last haircut that I gave him and uh, we all know Maradona that he's very controversial and uh, he doesn't like to do it on the world's way he liked to do it on his own way so you know there was a lot of hype so he's all over on the pictures on the videos and news up and down and everybody busy for that hype and to me personally I was just looking to that and then I was like dude that's my haircut so yes it's, it's very good memory to mention actually Today, the world lost one of its greatest sporting talents. Football legend Diego Maradona has died. The sporting world is in mourning today after the loss of legendary footballer Diego Maradona. The moment that I heard about his passing, uh, it hurts, man. Because uh, to the world, he's something. To me, personally, he was something else. Because uh, I was attached. I was I was close to him I spent some times with him so there was a memories and it was a good one and very valuable one as well most specifically uh, he was all the time very happy I can only remember him with a cigar in his uh, in his hand and then dancing all throughout my visits for him the music is loud nobody can interrupt the music the cigar in his hand and he's just dancing and happy and teasing the people around him so uh, also he was young so hearing that news at that moment uh, it it wasn't as easy as for a lot of people for a lot of people it was person that they idolized they look up to uh, they see him on pictures but to me personally uh, it was more deeper so you can tell it's a it's a part part of my journey part of my life uh, part of my future main part of my success uh, all these all these uh, words or factors uh, it, it hurts most I mean at some points if you just know him on picture you can just you can just feel what the world feels like the whole world uh, to me personally, it's how I feel like so it's very hard to put it on word man, but it's uh, It's very sad. He would be always remembered definitely and as long as I continue my journey His story would be always with me. So that's how I come to the point of uh, customizing specific base to put his uh, Toolkit which is I promised when I hear that that no one else will be touching the tools as at all and I will just reserve it for him forever so I did uh, like a proper base with uh, a football club field and then I placed his toolkit uh, as well as his jersey and I contacted one of uh, uh, artists that I know from my hometown and I asked him to create for me uh, a hand of God figure uh, this is how I this is how I managed to express uh, my feel for his uh, for his loss to be honest so uh, I really wanted to keep his memory forever with me and I want him to be uh, with me on my journey every day that's why I put all these three figures uh, in one base and I put it right next to my barber chair because I don't want a single day to come or single success or achievement that I will do in my life uh, without him. I want him to be a very tight part to it. And I want every person who come, I want him to ask me about Maradona. I want him to talk to me about Maradona in order for me uh, to remember him forever and to, to reward him in return for all his greatness to the world definitely it's sad uh, to see the world cup it's coming and maradona he's not in it but uh, i trust the argentina team now they have a big task to win this game because uh, it's gonna happen on maradona's second death anniversary and i trust that this is the only way that they could really honor his death in a way that he deserved best diego maradona 
he was an icon for millions and he was part of me and my journey personally and I will always uh, honor him and uh, spread his story the way that I can the way I remember his smile and his happy moments uh, as long as I exist and he will be always right next to my barber chair. <laughs>